Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa is arguably the most famous piece of art in the world. Painted in the early 16th century, it depicts a mysterious woman with a hint of a smile. For nearly the entirety of the painting's existence, the Mona Lisa has captivated and fascinated people, and its story goes far beyond da Vinci's Renaissance studio. Here are 8 intriguing facts about the Mona Lisa that you might not know. She lived with Francois, Louis XIV and Napoleon. Although da Vinci began work on his masterpiece while living in his native Italy, he did not finish it until he moved to France at King Francois I's request. The French king displayed the painting in his Fontainebleau Palace where it remained for a century. Louis XIV removed it to the Grand Palace of Versailles. At the outset of the 19th century, Napoleon Bonaparte kept the painting in his boudoir. Some historians believe Mona Lisa is a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci died in 1519, and he is buried at a French castle. Italy's National Committee for Cultural Heritage is undertaking an investigation and plans to dig up his skull. They want to rebuild Leonardo's face, using CSI-style technology. Will he resemble the mysterious Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa has her own room in the Louvre Museum in Paris. After the Louvre launched a four-year, $6.3 million renovation in 2003, a glass ceiling lets in natural light, a shatterproof glass display case maintains a controlled temperature of 43 degrees Fahrenheit and a little spotlight brings out the true colors of da Vinci's original paints. Mona Lisa is a painting but not a canvas. Da Vinci's famous masterpiece is painted on a poplar plank. Considering he was accustomed to painting larger works on wet plaster. A wood plank does not seem that outlandish. Canvas was available to artists since the 14th century, but many Renaissance masters preferred wood as a basis for their small artworks. Jackie Kennedy, invited Mona Lisa to visit. Over the centuries, French officials have only rarely let the painting out of their sight. However, when First Lady Jackie Kennedy asked if the painting could visit the U.S., French President de Gaulle agreed. Mona Lisa went on display at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., and then at the Metropolitan Museum of the Arts in New York City. A thief made her famous. Although in the art world, the painting had always been an acknowledged masterpiece, it wasn't until it was stolen in the summer of 1911 that it would capture the attention of the general public. Newspapers spread the story of the crime worldwide. When the painting finally returned to the Louvre two years later, practically the whole world was cheering. Picasso was under suspicion for the theft. went so far as to question known art dissidents such as Pablo Picasso about the theft. They briefly arrested poet Guillaume Apollinaire, who had once said the painting should be burned. Their suspicions proved to be unfounded. Mona Lisa receives fan mail. Since the painting first arrived at the Louvre in 1815, Mona Lisa has received plenty of love letters and flowers from admirers. She even has her own mailbox. Not everyone is a fan. Various vandals have tried to harm da Vinci's famed masterpiece, and 1956 was a particularly bad year. In two separate attacks, one person threw acid at the painting, and another individual pelted it with a rock. Dot the damage is faint but still noticeable. 
The addition of bulletproof glass repelled subsequent attacks with spray paint in 1974 and a coffee cup in 2009. Mona Lisa cannot be bought or sold. Truly priceless, the painting cannot be bought or sold according to French heritage law. As part of the Louvre collection, Mona Lisa belongs to the public. And by popular agreement, their hearts belong to her. Mona Lisa holds the Guinness World Record for the highest known painting insurance valuation. In 1962, the painting was evaluated at 100 million US dollars, which is equivalent to 870 million dollars in 2021. It is, therefore, one of the most valuable paintings in the world. This insurance company is probably holding all their thumbs that it is never stolen. You can see the Mona Lisa for 30 seconds. Since so many people come to see this work of art, there is a group queuing system in place to view the painting. Each group has only 30 seconds to view the painting before they move on. This helps the Louvre to avoid huge crowd buildup. Two men committed suicide falling in love with her. The first victim was an artist who lived in the 1800s named Luke Maspero. One day in 1852, Luke decided to commit suicide by jumping from his hotel room window on the fourth floor. In the note he left, Luke said, For years I struggled with her smile. I would rather die. Sixty years later, a man decides to shoot himself in the head for the same reason. Leonardo da Vinci likely spent 16 years completing Mona Lisa. Since the Mona Lisa was painted over 500 years ago, it is difficult to construct a complete picture of its creation. Scholars and art historians have been debating and researching its history for many years, and there is still no agreed upon timeline. The Louvre states that it was undoubtedly painted between 1503 and 1506. Other historians are convinced that the painting is reflective of his post-1513 style and that it must have been started after that date. Others believe that there are actually two paintings, one begun in 1503 and the other in 1513, with the latter being what we see today at the Louvre. There is, therefore, plenty of controversy on when the Mona Lisa was painted. But most believe that the work was started in 1503, taken with Leonardo to France in 1516, and slowly added to over the 16 years before 1519. Thank you for watching.